Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer some permutation and combination problems. Okay, let's start. So what do we know about permutations and combinations? Okay, we all know that they both deal with selecting or choosing some objects or all objects from a given collection of objects. Okay, pareho silang ganito. We're given n objects, yeah? And then we're going to take r objects at a time. Pareho silang ganon. Now, my question is, Anong difference nila? Okay, so eto. In a permutation, the order matters. The order is important. Okay? Sa combination, it is not important. The order does not matter. What do I mean by that? In a permutation, if you have like this, okay? So you have A, B, and then naging B, A, Okay? Kung permutation yan, they are not the same. They mean different things. Okay? Well, in a combination, okay, itong AB ay pareho lamang sa BA. Okay? So, do you see? The order does not matter. What else do we know about a permutation and a combination? In a permutation, we use this formula. Okay, and this is our notation, right? For a combination, ito naman. Okay, so halos magkamukha lang sila, okay? So it's easy to memorize. Sa combination lang, you have R factorial in the denominator. Yun lang. Now, I want you to consider these two problems. Okay, alin kaya dito ang permutation problem at alin naman ang combination problem. Okay, so let's discuss. So, the first problem goes like this. A club has 25 members. Okay, the question is, how many ways are there to choose four members of the club to serve on an executive committee? For this problem, let's have A, B, C, D be the four chosen members to serve or to be part of the executive committee. Let me show some possible arrangements here. Okay, so... For example, napili muna si person A and then person B, then C, and then D. Pwede rin, okay, mapili muna ng una si person B followed by A and then the third person to be chosen is person D and then lastly we have person C. Okay, pwede rin itong arrangement na ito. Okay, pwede rin to. And there are other possible arrangements pa. Now, if you notice, Kahit sino yung unang piliin, sino yung second na piliin, sino yung third na piliin, at sino yung pang-apat na piliin to become a member of this executive committee, okay, sila pa rin yung apat na yun. Okay? Sila pa rin yung si person A, B, C, at saka si D. So obviously, the order here is not important. Okay? So, what kind of problem if the order does not matter? It is a combination problem. So, that's why we make use of the combination formula here. Eto. Okay? So, I will not discuss anymore how to evaluate combination notation because we have a separate video on how to evaluate combination notations. All right? So, here... um. I just want you to show that 21 factorial will cancel out and 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. So, magka-cancel out yan with 24. Okay? So, all you have to get is 25 times 23 times 22. And you will get 12,650 ways. Now, let's have the second problem. Okay? So, an organization has 20 members. How many ways are there to choose a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer of the club? So let me show you some possible arrangements here. Okay, so for the first arrangement, we have person A as the president, B as the vice president, C as the secretary, and D as the treasurer. Okay, 
For the second arrangement, tingnan nyo. Okay? And then this is the third possible arrangement. Meron pang iba ha, na possible arrangements. Okay? So, as you can see, kapag iniba-iba ko yung order, nag-iiba-iba yung position ng bawat tao. Okay? So, obviously, the order is important here. Okay? So, that's why this is a permutation problem. And since this is a permutation problem, we make use of the permutation formula where n is equal to 20 and r is equal to 4. Okay? Kasi we're going to choose 4 members, okay, to occupy four positions, okay? So we have this. So 16 factorial will cancel out here, okay? So the answer is 116,280 ways. Let me give you more permutation and combination problems. Let's have permutation word problems first. Again, if it's a permutation, the order is important. And of course, do not forget this permutation formula. Okay, this is the first problem. This is obviously a permutation problem because meron tayong first, second, and third position. At bawal magkapalit-palit yung mga position na yun. Okay? So that's why we make use of the permutation formula where n is equal to 10 because we have 10 runners here Okay, who join a race, and then three lang ang mananalo. Okay, applying this formula, we're going to have this. So seven factorial will cancel out here. This is the next problem. Okay, we're given four letters, D, E, A, R, but we're going to use three letters only at a time. Okay, so why is it a permutation problem? For example, I chose letters E, A, R. Okay? Ano yung nabuo kong word? Ear. Okay? Pero kapag ni-rearrange ko, ginawa kong A, R, E, we have a new word, which is R. Okay? So, do you see? Pag change natin yung mga positions ng letters, nagbabago yung word. Okay? So, that's why the order is important. This is a permutation problem. Okay? So, where n is 4, because we have 4 letters to choose from, and out of these 4 letters, we're going to choose or we're going to use 3 letters only. Okay? Applying the formula, we're going to have this as our final answer. Another example. This is another permutation problem because we're going to arrange 5 people in a row. Okay, so the order matters here. So we make use of the permutation formula again where n is 5 and r is 5 also. Okay, because we take 5 people at a time. At a arrange natin sila in a row. And lastly, we have this permutation problem. Okay, we have 9 different books. Okay, we're going to arrange them on a shelf. But the space is only good for 5 books. So that's why from nine books, we choose five books at a time. Okay? So that's why this is our permutation formula. Okay? So if you evaluate, okay, you'll see your four factorial will cancel out here. Okay? And then you're going to get 15,120 ways. Now, let me give you some combination word problems. Again, in a combination the order is not important. Okay? And then, do not forget this combination formula. Alright? This is the first problem. Okay? So, you have 10 item math problem solving test. Okay? You are just going to select 5 problems. Okay? So, it's a combination because hindi naman nagmamatter kung sino yung unang problem na pipiliin mo. As long as you choose five problems to solve. So that's why we make use of combination formula where n is 10 and r is 5. Okay, so all you have to do is to substitute the value of n and the value of r to the given formula. Okay, doing the math, you will get 252 ways. This is the second problem. Okay, 
So we have 12 teams, 12 basketball teams. Okay? And we all know we need two teams para maglaban. Okay? So this is a combination problem kasi hindi naman nagmamatter kung sino yung mauna or sino yung pangalawa. Kaya basta sila yung magkalaban. So this is our combination formula. N is equal to 12, R is equal to 2. Okay? This is um, the combination formula in terms of factorials. Okay? And then if you check, this is how we evaluate it. Okay? 12 minus 2, that's 10 factorial. And then 12 factorial, it's written as 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. Pwede na kayong huminto dito because magka-cancel out lang naman sila. If you do the math, you are going to get 66 games in all. 66 elimination games. Third example. Okay? So, what do you mean by a standard deck of cards? Ito yung nilalaro yung baraha. Ilang pieces yun? You have 52 pieces. 52 cards. So, that's why N is 52 here. And out of those 52, we are going to choose 5 cards. Okay, at hindi nagma-matter yung order nila. So that's why it's a combination problem. Last combination problem, okay? So there are 50 households and a researcher needs 10 households, okay? So yun lang, randomly, the researcher randomly selects 10 out of 50, okay? So that's why this is a combination problem also, okay? If you evaluate this, you are going to have a very big number, okay? So you may want to write your final answer in terms of factorials na lama. But if you insist, you may write that very big number as your final answer. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and... Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.